I'm not sure that we we approached it in the same view. I think by then quite a lot of us had been overseas and had seen over and been you know um, exposed to other cultures and things. So in that sense, it wasn't an adventure as such. What I think for us as professional army officers or professional soldiers generally um, was a sense of relief that we would actually be going to do what we've been trained to do. And I think if you put it back into, say, a medical context, it's like going and training to be a nurse or training to be a doctor and never ever treating anybody. So I think that was more the, the approach that we had great, we're off to do what we've been trained to do. Were you following anything that was politically going on as far as Vietnam was concerned? No, because to be quite honest, I don't think there was much politically going on. There was a bit of... I understand that the opposition of the day was uh, critical and this bear in mind was early 1966 we had had some we had some troops already in vietnam so there was a level of criticism but there was no intense hostility to uh, to the vietnam commitment and uh, i can't remember any outcries when menzies sort of said well we're going to increase the commitment and more soldiers are going i think it was more a case of where is vietnam and what's happening in vietnam and what's going on and why are we there rather than, um, as I say, any direct hostility to the fact that we were involved. Would that, you, that came later. Yeah. Were you interested in why you were going to be going there? Um, I was, but I'd, I'm not sure that that was a universal um, thing. Um, and in saying that I was interested, I think it was more academic interest, you know, oh yes, well, Vietnam's there and we're going, oh, you know, I wonder what's, what's going on. But the information that we got was not, was not that comprehensive. Um, we didn't know then, for example, the degree of the American involvement in supporting the uh, GM regime. We had no real understanding as to the um, to the political imperatives of Vietnam and why the Americans were involved. We had a, an exposure to the um, to the French experience in Indochina and the French being thrown out at Dien Bien Phu. Um, more in the context of this is what the French experienced in fighting the Viet Minh, which was the forerunner to the um, to the Viet Cong, and very generally what some of the tactics were um, by you know used by the uh, by the Viet Cong so in that sense no there, there wasn't a great amount of experience um, of knowledge and and bear in mind there weren't all that many people who had been to Vietnam at that stage so they, there wasn't much coming back um, so most of it was sort of book learnt um, and uh, it wasn't really until later you got much more substantial uh, information about what Vietnam was like, what it was all about, the extent of corruption, the political corruption, and the fact um, that there was an underlying thought of, well, why are we there? Certainly wasn't the case in '66. What did your wife think about the fact that you were going to be going over there? Um, I, there was the obvious. Um, uh, concern, I guess, because um, regardless of the fact that we hadn't heard all that much about Vietnam, we knew sufficient about it that you know, there was shooting going on and people were getting killed. In fact, one of my uh, one of my artillery friends from my days at Wacol had gone there in '65 and he had been killed, um, and he was an artillery forward observer, so that created a greater level of anxiety in my wife. Um, so yeah, there was that that immediate concern about you know her partner going off to um, off to Vietnam, but I don't think there was any overwhelming sort of um, uh, what am I searching for calamity or um, you know hey this is disastrous and no I don't want you to go and that sort of thing. I think to a certain extent there was um, 
an acknowledgement of what I said before about nurses and doctors. You know, you do your training. If you don't go and practice it, then there is, it's almost as if there's a deficiency in, in your professional development. So in that sense, because she had been a nurse herself, um, I think there was an understanding that it was a fulfilment of what have we been trained to do.